Standing by with the third ranked bantamweight contender, Rob Font. How are you, Rob? I'm doing great, brother. How are you doing? You're looking sharp, man. I'm loving the college <laughs> shirt. Not as sharp as you, top five bantamweight with a big fight coming up. And uh, I think what's interesting about your story, Rob, is that you don't have the combat sports experience background, right? You didn't grow up with wrestling. You weren't a martial artist. So for someone who didn't have any combat sports experience growing up, how do you then discover mixed martial arts? I um, discovered it on a, a delivery. I, I was delivering a pizza at the time in Tampa, Florida. Um, it was a Saturday night. I delivered the pizza to a house and they were doing, uh, there was a couple guys in the garage doing jujitsu. I found it, you know, very interesting on in what they were doing. I knew it wasn't wrestling, but I didn't know what it was. They kind of broke it down to me. So I kind of like got a, a little seminar right there on what, you know, mixed martial arts uh, Jiu-Jitsu and, and, and the UFC was. From there, I uh, went home. I uh, Googled it. I figured out uh, where the local school was. I drove out, signed up, and tried out a free trial class at uh, Gracie Tampa. I think I did six months there. From there, it was over. I, I was addicted. It was just, I was all in. and um, I was fully committed from there. Oh! Oh! Huge he right hand. Hand. He's out of foot! Which is UFC debut? How old were you? I was 20 at the time, 2021. 20, when did it go from a workout, a hobby, to a potential career path? I want to say the th third time I sparred, my first time sparring with some MMA guys, um, I felt great. I was I was landing my jab at will. I was I was landing combinations. I just kept getting taken down and getting submitted, and I knew. Obviously, I got to eventually, you know, learn how to wrestle and, and um, learn how to, you know, not get submitted. But from that point on, I was like, wait, I think I can do this. And then, yeah, hey, I really believe my third time sparring, I was like, that's it. I want to, I want to do this full time. Oh, oh, that's it. That's, it, that's it, that's it. The garden going bananas, Rob Font getting it done at home. You told me before that you believed you could get to where you wanted to go, but you needed some help to get there. And obviously Tyson Chartier, and Calvin Cater are such a big part of your training camps now and the New England cartel, which you came up with that name. Um, yeah. <laughs> but what's it been like to be a part of that from, from being on the ground floor? Oh um, man, this is a fun ride. It's a fun journey right now. You know, uh, we got our own little, our team going, we got our own little brand going. I was listening to Rick Ross and um, he kept saying Carol, Carol City Cartel, Carol City Cartel, that's uh, his old neighborhood. And I just just put it together, um, you know. I was like, wait a minute, like we we, we didn't we need a new name, need a new identity, and I came up with the New England Cartel, and that was it. As a team, how would you describe you, Calvin Tyson, the tight knit team that you are? Yeah, but it's more more of a family, more of a brotherhood. Whoever is fighting, if it's me or him, we just you know soldier up and, and do whatever we have to do to um, make sure that Calvin's comfortable or I'm comfortable or. It's one of those things that like like I'm not worried about anything. I know we have a solid squad that like I, I can lean on and trust that know like whatever happens we're good. Oh, oh man. it's heating up here. Fought oh, trying to my finish goodness. it. That's it. When you got your last win and you officially became a top five fighter in such a great division, the UFC bantamweight division, did you allow yourself to reflect on? A kid that was delivering pizza that didn't know what jujitsu was. <laughs> um, honestly, no. You know, uh, my, my mind was next. You know, let, let's get on to the next one. Um, you know, I just I just knocked out Mata Maria, so any fight from here now is going to be huge and it's going to be a lot harder. So my mind was like, let's hurry up, get back to the gym because um, there's still more work to be done. Well, Rob, uh, I believe your story is fascinating, so I will reflect on your journey and and. Uh, Think about how cool it is to deliver pizzas, discover jujitsu, and make it to be at this level of the UFC. But I know for you, it's all about on what's ahead. So good luck with everything. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, my, my, my big thing is trying to stay away from the pizza, you know? <laughs> well said. Good luck. Appreciate it, man. Thank you.